Hi guys, Melina here, and it is day six. It's Saturday, um, the sixth day of Booktubeathon. So, uh, today's book challenge, well, well, video YouTube challenge is actually my favorite one. I think that they've announced kind of thing, um, and it's gonna be kind of easy on me. <laughs> uh, it is, I think, called um, like it's making poetry out of book spines and using the titles to put them together in like a stack and make poetry out of it and your time for it and stuff like that. Now, this isn't me cheating. This is just convenience of life. <laughs> um, I have right here, if you can see, there's like a stack on the floor. There's like a cleaning bottle thing. But there's a stack of books on the floor next to this box. They're like my most recently hauled books. There's also like some stacks up here and stuff. There's, there's books everywhere. Um, this is my mom's room, so she's not too happy about the fact that my books are everywhere, but, you know, what are you going to do? So I don't necessarily need the minute to put them aside. Uh, again, I only have the one shelf, so it's, it's, it's a hot mess for me to do anything like that, organized anyway. Um, but I do have a little timer thingamajig here, and I'm going to do the three minutes to make a title thing, well not like a poem, it might not even need three minutes because they're all here. Um, I'm probably going to do black spines. The ones that are black are going to stand out and it's it's probably going to take me like a minute, two minutes tops. So anyways, um, we're going to go to the timer, set three minutes just in case I need all of it. Uh, don't know if you can see, boop, three minutes and go. if they have to be all black. I mean, I feel like something like that, the majority of it's black, it should work. I don't know. I might not even need that. So, we'll see. And okay. And I will not make everything fall poor forward. Obviously, these poems aren't going to make any sense, because <laughs> unless you have very specific kinds of titles, it's hard to make them linearly go together in a nice way. Yeah. See? I put them together, just from the stack that was left there. Um... And we have, what, a minute and a half to spare? So I, I did it in half the time because all of the shiz was here already. Um, so, let's take a look. Um. Alright, so here's what I got. We have The Master, Heartless, The Enigma, Instinct. I don't know why it's like the thing. I don't know. It went well. And then The Force Awakens, The Crowns of Crosswald. How deep and weirdly I don't know there was a word I was thinking of and, and it's failing me now but yes here's my little poem it's very cute very small stack and for the most part the spines are very the backgrounds of the spines are black um so yeah so yes that was the challenge for today um I actually like this one didn't uh take up too much time or involve me taking apart a bunch of books, like all of the shelves, and stacking ones from the days before. Um, so, we have this. It was fun. Um, I might do it again for fun, like, in my spare time or whatever. You know. Because uh, it is an interesting concept, it's just I don't have too many books around here, so these were just the ones that I hauled that aren't uh, a different color, because I have, like, my little 
random stack of non-black books or ones that were black but didn't apply. And they're all here. Uh, because if you've seen earlier, I was separating them. Okay, update time. Um, today is day six. Uh, yesterday I mentioned in the cosplay inspiration cover thing where I'm wearing the Marvel stuff, uh, that it was my sister's birthday, so we went out to celebrate to have, like, dinner and stuff, but tonight we're going out to, like, the club, um, <laughs> to celebrate once again, I guess, um, you know, because it's kind of her birthday weekend, so that's gonna take up some time, um, and I need to get ready and everything still, because I'm still in the jammies, I just have somewhat of a face on right now, um, <laughs> and... Yeah, I also have lots of schoolwork to do, lots of stuff for my law class and my environmental science class, and I didn't realize there was a project due. Well, I kind of did, but I love procrastinating. Anyways, reading. Um, since I have been balancing schoolwork, um, social life, familiness, and trying to redo all the Instagram challenges and the video challenges, it's been hard. And I'm going to give you an honest life update now. If you see my TBR video, or just me discussing the, the books that I plan on reading throughout these booktube-a-thon videos, I stated um, that in my TBR there was The Hazelwood for the Green Book, uh, Clockwork Angel, which would have been a reread that I would have planned on majority listening to on audiobook for The Beautiful Spine, and then a poetry book on my Kindle called Soft in the Middle that was going to be just read seven books at that final free challenge space. Um, yeah, no. Um, today is, as I said, day six, and I've already kind of failed that life in terms of doing everything in a timely manner because I've been doing other stuff as well. Like last year, all I had was school, and while it was still more taxing than the year before when I had nothing to do, uh, it wasn't school and work and also my sister's birthday, I'm gonna fall there. The first half of the week, I was really sick to where I actually had to leave work early on Tuesday. It's just been a hot mess this week. Um, but anyways, so as a result, I'm taking those last three books off my TBR. Today, I finished The Lightning Thief, and yesterday, last night, I watched the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children adaptation. So that means that I have done, I've read Jughead, did the challenge of the hat, um, the Miss Peregrine graphic novel and watch the movie, Who is Free Kala for, uh, Something You Want to Do, and, um, The Lightning Thief for the coin toss, and that's, that's where I am with all of that. So, what I might do is show you what books I plan on alternating to. We have these two. They're two of my most recently hauled books. We have The Last Message Received, uh, edited by Emily Tronco and illustrated by Zoe Ingram. I've talked about this book before, um, and yes, I'm excited to read it since I just recently hauled it, and it's, the pages aren't numbered, but it's, uh, formatted like this, like, it's just short Tumblr posts, like, mini little baby stories, so, and it's not that thick, so I feel like it'd be easy to fly through in, like, a day or so. Then I have Mr. Hire's Engagement, which is 155 pages. It's a little thin, baby. Um, I might read this, just, or if, since it seems like it's a bit slower, <laughs> I might not read this and I might just find something else. Um, and then my mom recommended that I pick up her graphic novel trade that she has of Archie meets Glee. I might do that if I can find it. That's the thing, I haven't been able to find it anywhere. If not, I have different graphic novel trades. Uh, I have manga, and I have extremely short ebooks that aren't like the poetry book, because even though it's a book of poetry, it was still almost 200 pages, so I didn't figure it would be easy for me to fly through that one. Um, either way, those three books that are over 150 pages that for some reason I thought I could squeeze into these final two days are not going to happen. I still plan on reading those books maybe sometime this month, like in August, because I was excited about those books. I have the audiobook checked out for Clockwork Angel. I'm hyped for The Hazelwood. Soft in the middle, I might eventually get to in my at work book or something. But I think sticking to four of my books from my TBR is not that bad. I think I switched two of the books from my TBR last year as well, so now this time it's just three of the books. I don't know. But. After tomorrow's video challenge and everything, 
I'll post my wrap up uh, recapping all the video challenges, all my Instagram challenges, how I did reading wise, what happened throughout the week, and what books I read and what, for what challenges. I think this one is going to replace the green on the cover challenge because even though it's more of like a tealy color, it's it's a it's a green. We're gonna call it green. Um, this I don't think is gonna complete any challenges if I pick it. I also think the Archie meets Glee has green on the cover. There's lots of other ones that I have that have green on the cover. Uh, this. The spine is pretty nice, and if not, I realized that, I'll show you later, I'll show you in the wrap-up, that one of the other books that I read previously was actually perfect for the spine challenge, because I've always actually loved the spines from those books. So anyways, we'll see how the rest of this week goes. It's not, it hasn't been easy. <laughs> um, yes, so this was me doing the challenge and whining about books and life for a while. Uh, but if you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my face and my books. Comment if you want to just, I don't know, communicate about life or tell me if you've read any of these books, uh, what you think a really good under 100 pages or just a graphic novel in general is, you know, what do you recommend to finish the Booktubeathon off with? Because um, tomorrow is Sunday, last day of the Booktubeathon, and I am going to try to do all of my science project in that one day. Um, and yeah, now it's my friend's birthday too, so I have to call her and I'm going to be doing that. It's, it's okay. Um, bye.